<laughs> so last night I saw a motion picture by the name of Zombieland. It was about four people trying to survive in post-apocalyptic America, uh, now dubbed Zombieland, which is, uh, of course, the title of the film as well. Basically, the plot is this. America has been overrun with zombies, and these four people are just traveling across the barren landscape aimlessly, with no real objective. Needless to say, this movie is f***ing awesome! Oh my god, it's so good! There's like these rules that you have to follow to not get killed by zombies, and the rules are hilarious, and the way that they're demonstrated to you are hilarious. Woody Harrelson is f***ing awesome! Woody Harrelson playing the best role that he's played in like, I don't know, 10 years or some sh Everyone was good in the movie, but uh, Woody Harrelson really stood out, and there's a great cameo. I won't spoil it for you, but there's a great cameo in this movie. Probably the best cameo I've ever seen in a movie. You, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen Shaun of the Dead, the other uh, big zombie comedy, and, and this one is better. It's far better. I mean, Shaun of the Dead, great movie, really funny, but this movie is funnier. The drama is more sincere and more human. The characters are warm and alive. It's a great movie, but you know what could have made it even better? If the people behind me would shut the f*** up! Uh, these idiots behind me, they kept talking and yammering and blabbing on and on. They kept laughing too loud at stuff. Like, you know those people who they can't just laugh in a movie? Like, <laughs> that's funny. They gotta be like, ha 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 ha! I really wanted to hear was your baritone laugh booming through my ears over the movie. And then they had some cackling wench with them too. So not only did I have to hear the baritone, Mwah! I also had to hear the shrieking, cackling hen laugh. <laughs> Dude, that really enhances my movie going experience when I get to listen to that nonsense. They kept talking to each other, pointing out what's going on on screen. You know how you can tell a dumb sh in a movie theater, they're sitting there talking about what's happening. Like, hey, he got his head chopped off. Yeah, I know, I was here, shut the hell up. And then they were talking about John Carpenter's The Thing, which is a great movie. Just an awesome, awesome movie. It was okay, but it was boring. You could have cut like 45 minutes out of that movie and it's be better, honestly. You know what? You're the reason America sucks. I want to take a sledgehammer and just bash your stupid head down! So the slow parts are what make it good, you moron! You know, you really feel their isolation and and, and, and the tension growing and, and the, just the, 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 the... Oh, it's so palpable. How could you find that boring? You know why you find it boring? Because you have no nuance. Your brain isn't trained for nuance and subtlety anymore. All you want is... Boom, boom, explosion, violence, death, blah, here's the monster, it's gonna eat you, all right, give us your eight dollars. That's all you want, because you're stupid. You're stupid, and I hate you. But Zombieland was great. I love Zombieland. I love that movie. I really, truly love that movie. Go see it, for the love of God. Don't download it. Don't download it. Make some money, go to the theater, and see it proper-like. Born to learn favorite this video.